For this lesson, we're going to cover what is a firewall. A firewall can be a software program or a piece of hardware that helps screen out hackers, viruses, and worms that try to reach your computer from the internet. A firewall allows you to control incoming and outgoing network traffic based on the rules that you set. Packet filtering firewall, also referred to as static packet filtering, controls access to a network by analyzing the incoming and outgoing packets and letting them pass or halting them based on the IP addresses of the source and destination, ports, or protocols. Packet filtering on a firewall is a way used to protect a local network from unwanted intrusion. Stateful packet filtering, also referred to as dynamic packet filtering, is unlike static packet filtering, which I have stated examines a packet based on the information in its header, such as the source and destination IP address, ports, or protocols. However, in stateful inspection, it tracks each connection passing through all interfaces of the firewall and checks to make sure they are valid. So if the firewall remembers the information about the previously passed packets, then that type of filtering is stateful packet filtering. So remember, in stateful packet filtering, filtering decisions are not based on defined rules set by an administrator. Instead, it is based on what has been established by prior packets that have already passed through the firewall. For stateless packet filtering, it looks at the incoming packets and allows or denies it based strictly on the rule base. So if the information about the passing packets is not remembered by the firewall, then this type of filtering is called stateless packet filtering. Please note that these types of firewalls are not smart enough and can be fooled easily by hackers. Now then, let me show you a demo on how to set up your firewall rules using Windows Firewall. The first rule will block all ICMP traffic. This will effectively prevent you from using the ping command to send ICMP packets to other computers. The second rule will block all outgoing port 80 traffic. Port 80 is traditionally associated with web traffic such as HTTP. So once we create and enable the rule, all outgoing port 80 traffic will be blocked. We will use a web browser to verify that the rule was effective. All right then, let's begin. Okay, using a command prompt, we'll ping out to google.com to show that it works. Next, we'll go to our Start, Control Panel, System and Security, and Windows Firewall. Click on Advanced Settings. OK, we'll go to Outbound Rules, and then we'll click on New Rule. OK, select Custom. OK, we'll change the drop-down box to ICMP version 4. Now go ahead and name your rule, your name, underscore block, underscore ICMP. OK, our new firewall rule is made. All right, let's return back to the command prompt and try to ping yahoo.com. Notice the general failure error. We know that our rule works. All right, let's go to outbound rules, new rules again. This time select port, then click next. Type in 80, which represents port 80. This will effectively block all outgoing web traffic from your computer. OK, name your rule, your name, underscore block, underscore port, underscore 80.
Okay, now open up a web browser. Okay, let's browse to a non-secure website. Let's try Microsoft.com. As you can see, it doesn't work. Okay, let's disable that port 80 rule. All right, let's try it again. Should work this time. All right, and there we have it. So remember, a firewall allows you to control incoming and outgoing network traffic based on the rules that you set. Well, I hope this gave you a better understanding of firewalls. Thank you for watching.